How characters from My Hero Academia make you go to bed. Part one. Okay, okay. So this is if you're a night owl. Like me. I can just imagine Bakugo, like, just always going to bed before you. And, like, you're doing your own shit. Like, you're trying to be quiet so you don't wake him up. And you're just doing your own shit. Like, reading a book, listening to music, watching TV, something. It's in the middle of the night. I'm gonna say, like, 1, one thirty in the morning. When you hear someone stomping towards the living room. Bakugo comes into the room. And he's glaring at you. And for like a split second you think, oh god, I was loud and I woke him up. So you start apologizing. But you don't even get halfway through the sentence before he comes over and picks you up. You're going to bed, dumbass. And with that, he'll just drag you to bed. He'll drop you on your side of the bed before flopping down on his side, pulls you towards him and lays your head on his chest. Once there, he'll start stroking your head and your back, whispering sweet nothings to you until you both end up falling asleep. How My Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. Part 2. I believe Dobby would be a night owl. He would stay up with you, playing video games, talking, relaxing, whatever the sort. But the moment that he feels tired, he's just gonna go to bed. And no, I don't mean he's gonna get up and go to bed. He's just gonna get comfortable on the couch and fall asleep. However, the moment that he's comfortable, he's going to wrap his arms around you tape and pull you to his chest. Basically treating you like a teddy bear. All the while telling you, Hey, little mouse. I'm getting tired. I'm going to bed. But you're free to stay up. He says this. But he's not about to let you go. He knows if he does not make you go to bed, you are going to stay up all night. And you really don't need to do another all-nighter for the fourth time this week. I also believe that Dobby's body is a lot warmer than other people's because of his quirk. So as he's falling asleep, he's running his hands all over your body trying to warm you up. Just to make you very warm and very comfortable. And you both passed out on the couch. How My Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. Part 3. So we all know Keigo is a workaholic. He'll come home at like really weird hours. Like one day he'll come home at a normal time like 6pm. Another he'll come back at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he doesn't even come home at all. It'll be days before you see him. But nevertheless, if you're home when he gets home, you're going to bed together. Sometimes you accept it. And other times you want to be a little brat and deny him. Because you're doing your own shit. But he likes it when you're a little brat. At least sometimes. So on days where you really don't want to go lay in bed with him yet, because you're like watching TV, reading a book, something. If he's not too tired, he will just pick you up bridal style and carry you to bed. But if he's too tired to do something like that, he'll make his feathers do it. And no, he doesn't use his feathers to drag you to bed. He will use every single feather to pick you up off the ground and carry you to bed. Once you're both comfortable laying in bed, he'll start humming to you until you both pass. How My Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. It is finally Kirishima's turn. A lot of people have asked for him. So this takes place after you wake up in the middle of the night because of a nightmare. You don't want to wake Kiri up because you know he has work in the morning. So you move from the bedroom to the living room no, thinking that you're not going to get back to sleep tonight. Because the nightmare was that bad. So you quietly just turn on the TV and just start watching something randomly to get your mind off things. And about 20 minutes later, a very sleepy Kiri comes out into the living room and flops himself down next to you. He asks you what's wrong. Why aren't you in bed? Without wanting to go into detail, you just mumble to him that you had a nightmare and that you don't think you can go back to sleep. And without missing a beat, Kiri is wrapping his arms around you, pulling you to his chest as he's flopping down on the rest of the couch. Once there, he's positioning you in a way so your head is right in his neck. Once you both are comfortable, his hand is running up and down your back, occasionally going into your hair to scratch at your scalp or run his hand through your hair. Even in his half-asleep state, he's telling you how much he loves you and that he'll always be there to protect you. And that how my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's five weenies turn. I mean, Shoto's turn. <laughs> anyway, now Shoto Todoroki isn't really a night owl, but he's not going to let that fact stop him from hanging out with you at night. Now, because you two are pro heroes, you're always busy. This is probably the only alone time you're going to get most of the time. So when Shoto feels the initial pull of sleep, he'll ask you if you're ready to go to bed yet. And when you tell him no, that you're really enamored in like your video game, your book, whatever you're doing, he just kind of shrugs and goes back to his own thing. But after a little time, something odd kind of happens. You feel a weight on your shoulder and find Shoto sleeping there. You can't help but giggle because this is very abnormal for him. As much as you don't want to move him, your shoulder's probably not the most comfortable place, so you give him a little shake to wake him up. When he opens up his eyes a little bit, you ask him if he's ready to go to bed. He gives you a very sleepy glare before he tells you no. And suddenly you're being pushed down to the rest of the couch, where he cuddles into you and in a very sleepy voice says, Good night, baby. I'll see you in the morning. How might your academia characters make you go to bed? It's Danky Kaminari's turn. 
So it is canon that Kaminari is a night owl. So if you're staying up late, he's going to stay up late with you. But when he starts getting tired, he starts hinting that he wants to go to bed. The hints start off subtle because he doesn't really want to annoy you yet. He'll say stuff like, oh, it's getting really late, huh? Yawning a lot. You know, stuff like that. But when you don't pick up on his hints, he'll just straight out start complaining. He'll throw his body into your lap no matter what you're doing. Look up at you with cute puppy dog eyes and be like, spark plug. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And when you point out to him, it's like, well, then go to bed. I'm not ready to go to bed yet. He'll sit up and give you a sharp look and be like, do you honestly think I can go to bed without you? I can't sleep without you in my arms. And it's that cute comment that makes you finally go to bed with him. He makes sure that your head is on his chest when you guys do go to bed and you follow how my Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. It's Tom McKee's turn. Round one. That's better. So we all know for a fact that Tomaki is a very, very shy boy. And it makes him cute. So I don't really see him forcing you to go to bed. He would try to stay up with you because he likes to spend as much time with you as possible. But the moment that he realizes that he's getting tired and he wants to cuddle, he doesn't really know how to tell you. He'll try to force himself to stay awake because, he, again, he does want to spend as much time with you as he can. But anytime that he feels himself falling asleep, he'll fidget, and sooner or later that catches your attention. You do look over at him a few times, but even though that you guys are together, anytime that your eyes meet, he'll look down, because eye contact still makes him a little uncomfortable. You think nothing of it and just go back to what you're doing. But after 20 more minutes of fidgeting, you just can't take it anymore, so you ask him, Tomiki, what's up? And his head goes down back into his lap because he got caught, and he finally tells you in a very quiet voice, Bonnie, I'm getting really tired. Can we go to bed and cuddle? And it's that soft voice and the cute face that he makes that convinces you to go to bed with him. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed? It's Deku's turn! So this is after you both become pro heroes. I can imagine that the two of you have to take turns reminding the other to go to bed because you both work really, really hard. Be that in different fields, like him being a pro hero trying to become the number one and whatever you're doing. When it's his turn to remind you to go to bed, it's after you haven't gone to bed in a few days because of whatever project that you're doing. One night, he comes home after a long day at patrol. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and he realizes that you're still awake in your office doing some hero work or your own project. What he does to make you go to bed is that he'll come up behind you, pick you up bridal style, and take you to your shared room. It doesn't matter which stage of the project you're in. You're going to bed. Once in the bedroom, he'll lay down with you on top of him, and he'll start whispering sweet words to you, reminding you that you are good enough, you need to sleep, and he'll actually start humming as well. He's like your own personal sleep aid. Once he realizes that you're asleep, he'll gently kiss your forehead and say, Sweet dreams, puppy. And then fall asleep. How my Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. It's time for everybody's favorite teacher. So the thing is, since Izawa doesn't get enough sleep as it is, I don't think he would really care about your own sleep patterns, at least at first. He's always busy, always on the move, always doing something. So when he decides to go to bed, he's going to bed. On his way to the bedroom, he'll politely ask you if you're going to join him. But the moment that you say no, he's just going to shrug tell you not to stay up too late and head to bed himself. But the moment that he realizes that you're more sleep deprived than he is, he knows that he needs to intervene. And how he does that is declaring that you both need a nap. No matter what time of day it is, if he declares that you both need a nap, this nap is happening. And how this nap happens? Easy. He just pulls you into his sleeping bag with him. Once you're both comfortable in his sleeping bag and he knows you can't go anywhere, he'll start to lull you to sleep. And if you try to fight him and get out of the sleeping bag, he's just going to chuckle at you. It's illogical to fight against me, kitty cat. You're not going anywhere, so accept your fate. How My Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. Part 4. Alright, so Toga. I think at first when Toga sees that you're not sleeping, she doesn't really do anything. She just kind of like shrugs and goes to do her own thing. Like, okay, they'll go to bed eventually. But as the hours tick by, and it's getting later, and she herself is getting tired, and you're still doing whatever it is you're doing, she realizes pretty quickly that you're not going to bed. At first, she'll be really, really cutesy trying to talk you into going to bed. She tries to bribe you with cuddles, promises to make you breakfast in the morning, all kinds of really, really cutesy things. But when none of those work, she jumps on your lap, pulls out her trusty knife, looks at you and says, Listen here, it's getting late, so you're either going to bed with me, or I'm going to cut you and drink some of your yummy blood. What do you want to do, jelly bean? After that, she gets off your lap and stares you down until you finally agree to go to bed. Where she'll cuddle you until you pass out. And then makes you breakfast in the morning. But it's only cereal. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. Part 5. It's Jiro's turn! Okay, I don't know why I think this, but when I look at Jiro, 
I don't think she'd be into like cuddling or just touch in general. I don't know why. I see her being the kind of person that really likes her personal space. So if you get cuddles, it's like a really rare thing. Not to say that she doesn't like affection, she just likes it in different ways. So when she sees that you're not sleeping, she'll either start playing like sleep aid music to help you pass out, or she'll connect her earphone jacks into a tiny little speaker and quietly play her heartbeat at you. Because it is known that heartbeats can be very calming and relaxing. And once you're finally passed out, wherever you are, your bed, your couch, wherever, she'll grab you a blanket and tuck you in. If it's on your bed, she will lie next to you and just hold your hand until she passes out. How my Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. It's Shinzo's turn. So just like Izawa, Shinzo doesn't actually get a lot of sleep. He is very sleep deprived. So he would be a night owl, just like you. But because of this fact, you guys would never really go to bed. You would have this really bad pattern of just like looking at each other and saying, you know, it's getting pretty late. We should probably go to bed. And the other one would agree. But then you don't go to bed. You just continue doing whatever you're doing. So one night you guys are just chilling on the couch, cuddling, watching a movie, when you both end up just drifting to sleep in each other's arms. You guys are so tired that you don't even realize that you fall asleep. So a couple hours later, Shinzo wakes up to see that the TV is playing the movie menu. He can't help but chuckle to himself because this isn't the first time that this has happened. So he sits up to get up only to find that you're laying on his chest now. You're hugging him like a big teddy bear and he can't help but admire how cute you are. He wants to go back to sleep but realizes the couch is probably not the best place so he carefully picks you up and takes you to bed. Once there, he kisses your forehead and says, Good night, kitty, and falls asleep. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed? It's Midnight's turn! So how would Midnight make you go to bed without using her quirk? How my hero academia characters make you go to bed? It's Chenya Ida's turn. So unless you're really far into your relationship with Ida, I don't really see him being the kind to cuddle you to sleep. When you first get into the, your relationship with him, if he finds out that you're not going to bed at a proper time, he will lecture you. He'll give you the entire lecture of how important it is to go to bed, how good it is for your body, for your mental health, and just your general health. When he sees that you're not really listening, he decides to do something a little drastic. Ida would pick you up and take you to your room, lay you down and tuck you into bed. But he wouldn't lay down with you, he would sit on this side of your bed and tell you, I will stay here with you until you fall asleep. And for some reason, I could just imagine him being the kind of guy that would read you a bedtime story. I have no idea why, but for him, it can actually be kind of cute. So that's what he would do. Ida would read to you. And once he figured out that you were asleep, he would lean in, kiss your forehead, and say, Good night, my star. I'll see you in the morning. And leave. All Might? Um... Huh. How All Might would make you go to bed? Honestly, I see him like a dad, so I feel like he would lecture you. He would give you the importance of going to bed. No, wait, that's Ida. Okay, okay. How All Might would make you go to bed is that he would give you this grand speech. Like, you know how he was in the first couple episodes of My Hero Academia? Where when he figured out that Midoriya was not following his regimen correctly, and he had that, like, disappointed tone? That's All Might. He would give you this grand speech speech of going to bed and how important it was for turning into his muscular form to carry you to the bedroom. Once there, he would declare, I am here to make sure you go to sleep. Then he would transform into his weaker form and crawl into bed with you and just kind of pet you until you pass out. So I hope that's what you're looking for. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's Mina's turn. Now with Mina, I feel like she's very cuddly towards you no matter what but when she realizes it's getting a little late and you're kind of meh she kind of gets upset that you don't choose to go to bed with her at first but understands that you're your own person she even worries about you even though you told her the day before that you had a nightmare and she sees that you don't really sleep that much but she still cares enough and she grabs onto you and she tells you that she'll stay up with you. A quick kiss to reassure you. After that, she pulls you in for a hug and a snuggle. Snuggle hug. As the night goes on, you both struggle to f stay awake. But in the end, you both fall asleep in each other's arms. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's Ochako's turn. Now to me, I feel like every time Ochako sees you, she can't help but flush 
<laughs> now I feel like every time she tries to convince you to do anything, she feels very insecure about it. Sometimes she'll do a brave face and try to tell you something, but in the end she ends up not saying anything until she has enough of you lying to her that you've been sleeping. And because of that, she has made a plan of jump hugging you from behind, giving you the saddest look she can process on her face. Shock on your face just makes her smile and you end up blushing like crazy. With that puppy dog look, she begs you to go to bed with her. And you both do. <laughs> How my Hero Academia characters make you go to bed. It's Su Yu's turn. Now with her, I feel like she's very lovable. I feel like she already knows that if you don't feel like going to bed, she completely understands. And in turn, you both do what you need to do. Her with her cleaning or her hero work, you with whatever you need to do. Don't get me wrong, she does worry about you when you don't sleep that much. And she'll feel bad about you staying up too long. But in those moments, she'll try her sneaky attacks. Whether it be her looking at you very cutely, trying to beg you to go to sleep, or her just uncomfortably looking at you at a distance. But most of the time, she'll just talk to you and see if you're ready to go to bed. So in that turn, she'll just boop your nose and suggest that you both just stay up a little longer than usual while eating some yummy snacks until you fall asleep. How might your academia characters make you go to bed? It's Fat Gum's turn! He's one of my favorites. So how Fat Gum would get you to bed is kinda sneaky. He would kindly ask you if you were gonna go to bed with him, and when you say no, he would decide just to stay up with you to keep you company. But that's when he strikes. He would wrap you in a warm blanket and tell you that you kinda looked cold as you were playing your game, and he didn't want you to get a chill. After that, he would, like, start bringing snacks to you, but you're so distracted with what you're doing that you don't realize that, one, it's sleepy time tea, and it's also snacks to help you sleep. Because Fat Gum's all about food. Of course he's going to know what kind of snacks or food would help you sleep. Once he realizes that you're having a really hard time keeping your eyes open, that's when he attacks. All right, Gummy Bear, it's time for bed. And as he says that, he's picking you up bridal style to take you to bed. Once in the bedroom, he flops down on the bed with you on top of him, pulls the blankets over you, pets your head and tells you goodnight. And that's how you fall asleep. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's everybody's favorite crusty boy! So Shigaraki's a gamer. So that means he stays up most nights like every other gamer on the planet. So I picture that you and him take turns telling each other to go to bed. So on nights where it's his turn, he gets really whiny. He's not subtle about it either. He'll poke at you and tell you that he really wants to go to bed. And you, being a game yourself, would look at him and be like, Yeah, yeah, we'll go. I'll go to bed with you as soon as I'm done this level, I promise. But then you play the next level, and the next level, and the next level. At some point, he does get annoyed and just goes to bed without you, but comes back 20 minutes later because he feels weird going to sleep without you in his arms. He tries again to convince you to go to bed with him, but when he's ignored for the umpteenth time, he gets annoyed. So he waits for you to get to a save point before taking the controller and turning off the console. Because he's not that much of a jerk to turn it off before you're done. When you look over at him, he has this stupid grin on his face. Oh, good player too, you're done. We're going to bed. And with that, he drags you to bed. Where he'll cuddle into you until you- How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's Tokoyami's turn. So Tokoyami himself is a night owl, so naturally he's staying up with you. When he starts to get tired, he'll ask you if you want to come to bed with him. And the moment that you say no, he just kind of shrugs and figures you'll come to bed eventually and starts heading to the bedroom only to get stopped by Dark Shadow. She does this because one, she knows Tokoyami is very disappointed that you don't want to come to bed and cuddle before falling asleep. And two, she likes cuddling up to you too. So naturally, she has to put a stop to this. I can totally imagine Tokoyami and Dark Shadow having like a quiet argument to, like about this entire thing, only stopping when you walk over to see what's going on. Tokoyami doesn't want to explain what's going on because he's kind of embarrassed, but Dark Shadow outs him by saying, tell them. Tell them now. So he sighs before looking up at you. My beautiful feather, I would prefer if you come with me and Dark Shadow to bed because you help keep her calm as we sleep. Plus, I like having- How my hair academia characters make you go to bed. It's Ciro's turn. It's canon that he will call you on your bullshit. Usually when you guys are together, you're just chill and just want to hang out with each other. But when he finds out that you're not going to bed 
or even trying to attempt to go to bed, he's not just going to call you out, but a plan. So when you least expect it, he will come right behind you and give you a big hug. But, and when you least expect it, you're tied up <laughs> with his tape. <laughs> then picks you up and carries you to bed. Once in bed, he unties you and he holds you at a close enough distance. Once comfortable, he tells you, Mia Moore, it's time to for bed. And then you both fall asleep peacefully. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It's Tetsu Tetsu's turn. <laughs> he was very requested. Now with Tetsu Tetsu, I think he would be just like Kirishima. Except on days like these when he's training so hard with Kirishima and the others, he gets into a shower and notices that you're not really asleep at this time of hour, which is probably three in the morning or something. Which you laugh it off and say, it's not that late. And in response, he turns and says, my love, it is late. If I'm here late, it's late. And you being you, being stubborn, would give him a little bit of a hard time. And that man is used to it. But, my love, that isn't very heroic or manly of you. And with that, he quickly picks you up and drags you to bed. How my hero academia characters make you go to bed. It is Nijiri's turn. Now with her, I think she would be like a big sister figure to you, but more in a romantic way. Like, she'll sometimes forget that you both need sleep, and you don't have the same sleeping schedules. And on days like those, she usually tries to make you laugh or something in the work. Or when you're sitting by yourself, she'll run into your arms and say, can we just go to bed? I'm tired. But you're always making excuses. And this really upsets her. But in those moments, she, she quickly uses her quirk and makes you get to the bed. And once you're both in bed, you both snuggle with each other and fall asleep.